Good afternoon. It's Sports Beat right here on Super Screen Television. Yes, Sports Beat, your one stop shop for the very best in the world of sports. We'll be looking at a very important issue, but today is a special edition. Like you rightly know, when it comes to grassroots, we give you the very best and we say it the way it is. We'll be looking at issues that affect our coaches. They've really done so much to put up football to where it is right now. Without the coach, you can't have a team. And without a team, the coach is nobody. So it's a synergy between two parties. But today, we'll be focusing on the Lagos State Coaches Association. They've had some issues. They've had some progresses. They're in the studio with me here this afternoon to look at the way forward, especially with what we call the quack set of coaches who pick up kids in academy, extort them, and give them unnecessary training that is not befitting. That's not the issue. The issue is that which way forward with these coaches. That is why they're here this afternoon. But aside that, on your regular Spot Beats program, we'll be looking at the Flying Eagles. They're right there in Rabat in the All-African Games, taking on Mason Bukanabi. And South Africa will be taking on Morocco. We'll also look at some of the highlights as it affects Nigerian players, Henry Yokuru. Uh, we're looking at Simon Moses, and also forgetting that athletics is top right there in the All African Games. And our top elite athletes have been certified fit to run, starting from the Blessing of Calgary and the host of others. Then this weekend, yes, the whole league in Europe is set at goal. The EPL will saw some clips uh, of what happened last Saturday and Sunday. This weekend is no exception. Man City will be hosting Tottenham, and then the La Liga. Barcelona, Atletico Barbo. Uh, but in the Bundesliga, it is Bayern Munchen with taking on uh, just it off BSC. And like I would rightly want to say, the Bundesliga is back. And Super Screen Television will be bringing these games to you right into your screen, live and direct. My name is Prince Willovisa. They call me the Duke. The other crew members are right in there, putting it right. We've been in the studio this afternoon to look at issues as it concerns coaches. Is no other person than the first vice chairman of the Lagos State Football Association, Coach Hazan Tairul Adewale. Good afternoon, Coach. Good afternoon. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. Also in the studio with me this afternoon is the Secretary General of the Lagos State Football Coaches Association, Rashid Suleiman. Coach Thank Suleiman, you very much. Thank you for having us here. It's a big pleasure. Yeah. Uh, let me start from this forefront. As a coach, you have a fundamental precept to make a team work. What is your normal routine each and every time you pick up a team? Coach. Normally, a coach, as we already said, is a teacher. Yeah. In all aspects, is a father. So with that, coach has a lot of roles to play mm. with their routine. Mm. Coach is a, is a life to all these our players because we believe whatever coach it says is right. Is right at that particular time. You, you know, you know, this thing you just said now reminded me of my playing days as a secondary school boy. I'm a right footer. And my coach said, if you don't use the left foot, you can't be my Both team. Legs. I had to go back almost one year to learn how to use the left foot and come back. Uh -huh. So that is instructional. Exactly. Yes. Coach Rashid, um, let's quickly start from why we're here. You're the Secretary General of the Lagos State Football Coaches Association. Yeah. What has been your activities so far so good? Mm, in general, thank you very much for the question. Um, we have done a lot. And it goes across um, monitoring our coaches, trying to see, to, to, to give them direction. We've had situations right across the uh, legal state. If you can recall the, from the newspaper uh, reports, of our coaches engaging in so many, since we're getting involved in so many unpalatable situations. Okay. But as it is, we are happy for one thing. Most of those coaches that were caught doing all those things are not our affiliate coaches. Okay. They are none of us. So we are really working. Not that straight. Talking about affiliate coaches, you, you, you have coaches that are registered with the association yes. and those who also come to ask you for permission to coach. Is that how it works? No. Okay. We have a list of coaches who are our members. Okay. You have to apply to be a member. Okay. For if you are not a member, we, that's why we have every, uh, in Lagos State, we have, um, it's called the uh, uh, councils caught across all uh, the local the governments. Government, okay. We cover Lagos State as it is. 
And then we have list of coaches registered, but we call them affiliates. Okay. Within okay. those regions. Like Ojo affiliates, Ojo, Suleri affiliates. Suleri, okay. Osho Di Solo, we have them cut across all the uh, areas. All right. So we have lists of those coaches at any time. Mm. At every time. And we all right. update it from time to time. Coach Hassan, uh, let me come to you. There have been issues that the Lagos State Coaches Association is grasping with. Can you tell our viewers some of this so that we know where we're moving from? Uh, the issues is not perfect. Uh, the development. Okay. You know, we have brilliant coaches in Nigeria, as well as Lagos State. Like what we already said in the National Football Coaches Association, we have the national, we have the state, Lagos State, Tondo, Imo, like that before we now come to the councils in Lagos State. Okay. I get my point. Mm -hmm. In Lagos State, for more than in population of work, which is for more than half of odd, odd in Nigeria work, which is mm. the population of work, which is in Lagos State, is half of it is more than what we have in national. Okay. So Lagos is the hub. Lagos State have a lot of coaches that belong coaches, mm. but the problem is development. Coaches are there. Why I tell you today? Most coaches you see in Lagos State developing themselves here and there is their personal responsibilities. What role does NIS play in coaches' development? National Institute for Sport. What role does it play? NIS is a school, it's okay. an institution. Okay. Teaches you, develop you. And I cannot say from in Lagos State, even I can't say other states, because I'm talking of my states. Yeah. We are you see organization or government sponsoring most of these coaches for okay. courses. Okay, that's in NIS. Yeah, NIS and other places. Okay. You can see when the coach oh, finished this nation's cup, come coming back home, he said He's going for a refresher. Refresher, refresher course. Yes. And the man said, I will not go if you don't put my sisters okay. together with me. If you don't put them I will not go for this course. To let you know the importance of the development, we have to refresh to give these our new we'll get updates. updates, new ideas mm. about the current and modern coaching. way of coaching. All right, Coach Rachid, there's something that uh, bugs my mind. Uh, when I was growing up, they called them general, general coaches. coaches. Um, the right word is quack Quats. coaches, unqualified coaches yes. that extort money from young ones, pretending to be helping them. Okay. What is the association doing about this? And so far so good, what are the new ways you want to tackle quack coaches? Um, thank you very much. Uh, first and foremost, in that area, we have a lot of support from the FE. If you are uh, preview to this, the past uh, Challenge Cup, which is the FE Cup. Cup. We've been, we, they, 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 they gave us a lot of support having to do with how we have a task force team and our task force team, are, they, 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 they've been involved in uh, screening most of the participating teams' uh, coaches to ensure only affiliate coaches are, are allowed to sit on the bench. Okay. And we have situations where notable coaches, internationals, are taken out of the, their team's bench. Mm. That's an area where the FA really cooperated with the association. Okay. Also, we have taken it a step further by trying to involve the law enforcement uh, agents. Okay, very good. So we've been to, we've written to the uh, commissioner, we've seen the police uh, public uh, relation officer, mm -hmm. and they are really cooperating. Okay. But we are yet to get to yeah, your full destination. Yeah, At least that target. Yes, exactly. All right, uh, Coach Adan, let me quickly ask you this. How often do coaches go for refresher courses? I, is it six months, three months, or one year, two years? No, no, no. It's so close. Okay. Uh, the, the best is to maybe two years. Two years. Two years. Because if you go for a refresher course, when you come back, you have to make sure you what to learn. It's impacted on, on the kids. Okay. So before you go, even with NIS, if you go for a particular, you know, we have grades there. Yeah. Yeah, you are from basic mm -hmm. to advanced yes. to, to diploma, diploma, higher to diploma, diploma, and to PGD. Yes, yes. So it is after two years. Okay, every two, two years. Two years, you come back, 
and continue with your course. You have to go and practice. Okay. You can't go for a certificate course or a seminar or a special course. And coming back not practicing at all. Mm. What's the reason of having a certificate? Mm. That's just the essence. Mm. You have to train. You have to try and implement it on these our young players. Mm. That is what area we have been. So that's why we are, what we are discussing now with some of our coaches. You have to work. It's not for you to get certificate and sit down and say, for a purpose of promotion in your office or a particular thing. You have to practice. The coaches are not enough. Looking at the population of our young players. You mean with the number of coaches you have in Lagos State, you still need more? Even Lagos is not enough at all. Mm. I'm telling you, why. it's not enough. We need more. Because if our government, what we have been telling them, FA and government, our sports commission, before, when I was young, Lagos State. Yes, I forgot to mention that you're an ex international. You played the game to the peak. I, I played the game, <laughs> yes. Yeah. When we were young, I played under Laruko, Eriko, all of them. I played with all of, a lot of coaches. Then, the coaches have more than 20, 20, more than 20 coaches. Standard coaches. Standard coaches in Lagos State as a staff. Mm. They second them to local governments okay. to go and help teams. Yes. If a team wins a league, represents Lagos State, it was second about two and three. I was so going to ask you that, that the Lagos State Coaches Association, what is the developmental processes they have with the various local government? I think you can answer that now. With local government? Yes. In, like now, we are trying our best to do that. It has not really worked out. Worked out. Okay. Because look at the number of schools we have in Lagos State. Schools alone engage at least one, one coach to all the schools. Mm. I mean, we coaches, okay. good work, qualify work, and come and see what will happen in the area of development. Mm -hmm. That's why I studied the uh, South American uh, way of grassroots football. They have good coaches uh, at the grassroots. Okay. So by the time you see 16, 17 players of age in Did those well. I mean, South American coaches, it will have ripe up to playing for a national team. Look at our league, 40 years. For something years, players playing. If you go with 20 players, 20, 20 years of age to any of these are teams in Nigeria, they will tell you the boy is too small. It's too small. Mm. All right, um, Coach Rashid, I need to ask you this. Um, as an association, have you been getting support from the corporate world in your activities as an association? The answer is simply no. We have not been getting that support at all. Is it as we, a result of that your activities are not made known or probably uh, you've not pushed out more? We've been pushing, but um, and then also due to the factor that you just highlighted, which is uh, we're not going to taking going further to the, to the next level. To the next level. Well, as it is, it's simply a no way that we've All right, let me stick with you, Coach Rashid. Um, I need to ask you this. This is very important. Why is it that when a team fails, it is the coach that is held responsible? Why? Just as uh, the chairman as far as he said, the coach is the teacher. The responsibility of a coach, of the team, lies on the coach. Mm. So it's either if the, if the team performs well, he takes the credit. Mm. So equally, the reverse. Is the if case. it does not go well, it's, it's, it's the coach. Okay. I so now, I, I now understand it. Why coach has sat with that a flip it. of fun. Exactly. Can I come in? Yes, 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 yes. Go ahead. Uh, your question, you know, a coach is the manager, is the one managing the team, okay. good or bad. Mm. And you have to, uh, good coaches always put behind his mind that any day, any time, our job is hiring and firing. I'm fire. We don't bother. Mm. We know that. That is why here in this area we have been talking to teams who have take care of the coaches so that you have you be able to take care of the team. I was going to ask you that because um, yeah. as a coach, uh, taking care of you is very important. Yeah. A sound mind gives us good ideas. Yes. Lagos State Coaches Association, what is the welfare program you have for your coaches? 
Uh, yes, yes, Coach Ashi. Okay. Uh, for now, um, we have. Uh, in are, you, are, you, are you in conjunction with any insurance firm uh, that can easily come to your aid any time? Right now, there's nothing like that. Yet. I, I, we don't I think have a proposal should done. be because it will really help. Because a, a coach, he, like somebody told me, the rate of BP is quite high with a coach exactly. because it's always yes. on the touch line. And, 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 and this is on the structure. Exactly. That's the problem. In the past one year, we lost. Let's say close to this is not ten coaches. Oh, close to I think up to twelve. Yes, you don't mean it. Senior yes, coaches. Some dropped on the on the field. On the field. Some kind of, especially on the health issues. That is area we think we should collaborate with the government. Okay. Exactly. How they are going to help us? Maybe the way a free aid for football coaches. Coaches. Because in Lagos State, particularly. Yes. State, the yes. kind of job you are doing, you shout on the field, you shout you on run. the line. You run, you think, you think, you do a lot of things to make sure a team's win. If you see two teams want to play a match, the two teams want to win. The two coaches want to make sure he wins with a lot of strategy, a lot of things exactly. together. So we're always under pressure. Mm. Training matches with the management, okay. with the supporters, with the parents. Before the you family. go, before you go, coaches, I, I need to take you on this because um, we're having six series part with the Lagos State Coaches Association and good enough Coach Hazan and Coach Rashid will be coming from time to time to tell us their programs and see how they can stem the incident habit of quack coaches who call themselves Cochito. I think that's the that's the big name right that's very sound. good. Cochito uh, to see that the coaches can move forward and have a better welfare. Before you go gentlemen I need to ask you this. Uh, are you happy that as a coach are you happy that our national team there are no local players at the national team at the national level. Let me start with you, Coach Hazel. Yes, I am not happy. It's, uh, you know, I don't want to go into their politics. I have to be straight. Yeah. Look at our coach, Ura. Does he stay here to monitor? I do, I know we have some assistants. As our coaches, I know one or two are my friends in Nigeria here, monitoring players. For coach Mama is my classmate. Yeah, okay. Mama. Yeah. Agali is part of them. Okay. Abroad, you know. It's my friend. We are the same club. Oscar is there. But, like, eh, like eh, former, our former coach, Stephen Keshi. Yes, Stephen Keshi. He has this boldness. He looked inward, inward. to our own base. Most of them are there now. If you have not gotten them from home, who will go out? Nobody. If the bulk of our players outside the country stop like that, who are going to get players? We need to encourage. No matter. Get our team there and get home team players. Every time, start changing them and put them there. Get about seven coaches from Nigeria to always build home coaches. NFF should do that. Mm. We have that money. All right. Um, I must say a very um, big thank you to Coach Rashid Suleiman, the Secretary General of the Lagos State Football Coaches Association and the first much. Vice Chairman of the Lagos State Football Coaches Association for being in the studio with us here on Super Sport Television. Thanks for coming, sir. Thank you. Very uh, much. We hope to have you very soon. This is the first series. Other yeah. series we have to come into. Yes, it's been sports beat, and we've been talking about coaches. They are the fundamental. They are the precept. Without the coach, a team has no headway. It's just like the compass. We will take them some other time again. But it's been quite intriguing. It's been quite engaging this afternoon. As we go on this quick break, when we come back, we'll be going around the world of sport as it happens. Do stay tuned as well as domestically in